Hello, Terra Novella Sam, and hello, world. Surprise, I'm with you twice this week. Um, Kim is currently having an awesome adventure in Sleepy Hollow, and she is sending us uh, updates, so make sure that you check that out on the website. Uh, we're really excited for that, especially uh, this close to Halloween. So, but for today, which is Thursday the 27th, Friday the 28th, and Saturday the 29th, we are going to be drawing cards have Denise Lynn all week long uh, from the Sacred Traveler deck. Okay, so we work with this one a lot. Okay, I'll show you the deck again just so we can just refresh everyone's memory here. That's what the cards look like. Okay, so we just, we love Denise Lynn, we love her decks. We always get, oh, I think we already looked at that one. Always get good readings from these. So before we get started, let's take a nice deep cleansing breath in. Let it go and let it flow. So we just have all kinds of great messages this week. And for the end of the week, um, it just gets better and better. So our first card is Passion and Pleasure. Hooray. And it says, Savor Your Life. And this is all about living in the moment. There's so frequently, and I'm guilty of this just as much as the next person. We're worried about what we got to do tomorrow. We're worried about something that happened yesterday. You know, we're, um, we're everywhere except right here, right now. Okay, we're everywhere else except in the moment. And frequently when we're outside of the moment, we miss some pretty awesome things. Um, I've been trying to be a little bit better about this. And I'll give you a, just a, a personal for instance. I was having to drive to work the other day. And we're at peak um, leaf turning, leaf changing, autumn, whatever season. And it was gorgeous. It's like I'm, I took a, a back road in. And it was just driving through this long corridor of trees. And it was like, it, the whole thing was on fire. It was not like literally on fire, but like it looked like fire because it was all these beautiful reds and golds and oranges and, uh, you know, lighter shades of green kind of woven through it. Just absolutely, some of it was even purple looking. I mean, just gorgeous leaves. And I just really, really enjoyed driving to work looking at these gorgeous leaves. So this card feels like that. It feels like that sort of, that energy. You know, enjoy, enjoy those moments of beauty. Enjoy those moments of pleasure. Enjoy, um, you're sitting down, you have a particularly good lunch. You really savor that. You, um, your clothes, like maybe you pick out a, a particularly nice outfit and you're just really enjoying that outfit, or you're really, really enjoying um, a dessert, or you're really enjoying a fragrance. You know, it's, it's, this, this is really feels like savoring and being in that moment and being present. Um, yeah, savor your life. You know, you got you got a moment to to stop and, and smell the roses. Take that moment. And this brings us to, and I don't necessarily know that these kind of come in together, but. I, I, I don't know. I can kind of see a connection. Mystic Healer, our second card, says healing energy flows through you. So I could make the argument, and I will make the argument, that living in the present has a healing sort of energy. Um, but part of healing is, is letting go of that past. Letting go of things that no longer serve you. Uh, letting go of situations. Letting go of people. Letting go of um, situationships. Yeah, any of these things that, that are kind of holding you back from being present um, that may still be troubling you or, or causing you any kind of heartache. Uh, this is healing energy flows through you. So I think a lot of this is tapping into where are my blocks as far as this energy goes. And if you don't have any, that's great. You know, how is that energy flowing through you? How... Um, how do you bring healing to yourself and how does that later flow out to other people okay and what that might look like self-care I know that's like a buzzword now or something but 
no, legitimately self-care. And that's not just, it, it does include, you know, luxury things like, you know, bubble baths and, you know, chocolates or whatever. But it also really, it's, it's that daily, making sure you have enough water, making sure you get enough rest, making sure you're out moving your body at least half an hour a day or more. Um, really, I think, um, something like I read a study that it's, it's, you need to get up and move every 40 minutes. You know, even if it's just, you know, to get up to walk to the, the bathroom or walk to get to the sink to get some water or what, whatever. Um, there's, there's an element here of spiritual healing too. There's an element here of, um, I'm looking for the word. That letting go of not what no longer serves you. And I think I just said that a moment ago, but but more in a spiritual sense, more in a creative sense, more in a um, something kind of intangible, intangible way. So you're going to hear momentarily the cat scratching at the door. I just heard him get up from his little perch, and he hears food. So there's going to be some rattling, but I'm going to finish this reading for you all before <laughs> we put up with uh, with the kitty cat. So. Yeah, well, how does this resonate with you all? I'm, I'm going to throw that out to the community. Um, and, and put it down below. Like, where, where are you feeling that, that need to shift? I and mean, come chat with us about this. But I think that healing, being present, being present can be healing. And also letting go of the past helps you heal in the present. So I feel like there's sort of a, a two-way street going with that. But our third card is Journey by Moonlight. Uh, believe in Magic. And we're in Scorpio season, y'all. It doesn't get any more magical than that. The veils don't get any thinner than that. So I think that whatever, um, whatever's holding you back, you know, this is, this is the time that you can get rid of that for good. Uh, whatever you're reaching for, whatever creative endeavor that you're wanting to, to take, now's the time. Like, they're, they're, you're having the support from the other side, whatever that looks like to you or however you want to think about that. That could be fairies or guardian spirits or your angels angels ancestors gods there's all kinds of um, help in the unseen but I think it's a lot easier to reach toward that and move forward on your journey uh, right now in particularly than maybe what it's been all year long so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this is you know sort of um let, let yourself use your imagination. Let yourself kind of get into that creative trance. Let yourself sort of um, meditate on, on, on the unseen. And I can, I can also hear um, my partner talking in the background. I hope y'all can hear him. Like I said, it's almost time for, for the cats to eat. But yeah, please, please drop it down in the chat. Where, where do you feel like you're journeying to? Where do you feel like... Um, Yep, that's, this is getting ready to happen. Getting ready to open the door briefly, let the cat out, and shut the door. All right, anyway. So, again, where, where do you think you're journeying to? Where do you think you're healing? And where would that healing take you? Okay, I'm going to put that down in the chat. I want us to have a, a lively discussion about this right before Halloween. I um, hope everyone is continuing to have a good week. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, please come and chat with us and join us for Kim's updates on her trip to Sleepy Hollow. It should be fantastic. And I'll talk to you all again soon.